Hey, hey friends. Today I've got the Emily Dickinson Tarot and I wanted to offer you a quick walkthrough. So this is the Emily Dickinson Tarot. I received it in a trade and it didn't come with a box, but I had this bag that matches the backs really nicely. And so I'm going to put these in order, but this is what it looks like shuffled and it's really lovely. It's just not a beginner's deck, but look at these colors. They're so delightful. So thank you for joining me for a quick walkthrough. Before I do a quick flip through, I did want to at least um, show you that it is still available for um, order. It's $25 and it's by Factory Hollow Press. It says factoryhollowpress.com. And this is what the back looks like. And I did um, back this whole deck in clear contact paper because the cardstock can't even be called cardstock. It's it's so flimsy, it's just basically paper. So the whole deck is um, backed in clear contact paper and I love it and it shuffles amazing. Now it's super durable, um, but also flexible. And so I'm gonna shuffle it. It's in order right now so I can show you, but um, I wanna shuffle it so I can show you the flexibility because um, I'm really happy with it and I feel like I'll use it a lot more now. So the cool thing about this deck that really caught my eye that's very fun is that the um, Major Arcana uh, is is like all, uh, well, I'm going to say things, oh, except for that one. Okay, I can't say. I was going to say things with wings, but that is not the case. Things with legs, but a lot of them have wings. And so I want to do a clip, uh, clip through and show you each one. This is the High Priestess, and this really caught my eye. It, I think it's so amazing. Okay, so... Hang on, let me lay these out. So we have, we have insects of some kind. So I'm going to put the majors aside for a moment and show you the minors. They're a bit confusing. Wands, swords, cups, and pentacles. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go through these and you'll see but there's a little bit of color consistency with blues and grays in the wands. Um, the swords has black borders and some consistency in the markings and the colors, but a lot of the cards uh, don't. Like I feel like it doesn't even have swords in it, so I had to put my own markings on. Uh, Pentacles does have a border. It's one of the easier ones to figure out. And then the cups has orange mostly, but there are exceptions. And so when they're all shuffled together uh, and, you, and you create a reading, it's a little bit confusing. The majors are the easiest to figure out. But let's go through them and, and I will show you in detail. Okay, well, let's go through the deck. Here's the Fool, and in each of the Majors cards, it has a little bit of a um, reference to the um, Rider Waite traditional images with the cliff and the sun. I like the fly image, it's kind of cool actually. The Magician, you can see the Tudor roses and the candle, the lily on the bottom, the colors of the yellow and red. These just a bit. I love this High Priestess. I adore it. I think I'm going to kind of display it for a little while. I love this moth um, image and um, the pomegranates. And you can see the black and the white pillars. Um, the moon with a little bit of maybe um, fabric or maybe water underneath. So you get a little bit of the traditional image in there as well. The Empress again with the greenery. I think that's really lovely. <laughs> and the Emperor with the ram. The Hierophant again with the pillars. 
<laughs> the lovers with the little feet, the sunshine. <clears throat> the chariot. <clears throat> Strength. The ant. The hermit. I do I do like the hermit. It it's I don't know, at first I wasn't sure how I felt about it, but I'm coming around to it. Wheel of Fortune. Justice. The Hanged Man. Death. Is that a cockroach? I'm still deciding. I think that's what it is. Very odd. Oh, lordy. Temperance. I need to sit with this one a bit. I'm not sure how I feel about that. The devil. I don't even know what that is. I'm going to have to look it up. But I do love how you see the little feet on, underneath. Just like on the levers. The little feet and the little horns. I can definitely work with that. And the tower. Again, it's got the reference to the Rider Waite Smith. I don't know anything about this insect. So I feel like I'm going to have to go Wikipedia these and figure that out. Um star. I really like that. But I'm wondering, okay, is there like a luminescence, like a like a lightning bug? Oh, look at the moon. That's really beautiful. I love the colors of the aqua and the grays and the greens. It's lovely. I like the sun too. The, the, the bee image is nice. And the flowers, like uh, sunflowers. Judgment, oh, cicada. Interesting. Oh, the calling. That might be what it is. I think it's like the cicada makes the noise, right? Like judgment. It's it's uh, you're being called. And then I like this. The world with like the web. It's a nice image. Okay, uh, Ace of Wands, and this is where. See, I think it looks, okay, maybe it's a wand. I mean, could it be a sword too? But anyway, I figured it out. So I had to write the words on here because when I was creating readings, I found it very confusing. Uh, some of them have little quotes. So this is the two of wands. To fight aloud is very brave. Three of wands forever is composed of nows. Four of Wands. Saying nothing sometimes says the most. Huh. I don't know how I feel about that. Five of Wands. That makes sense. Okay, some of them, yeah, Six of Wands, Victory, that makes sense. I Although I had to make notes because I just didn't feel like it was really clear in case it looks like swords. But I, unless you didn't know the Rider weight really well, I think it could be confusing. Seven of Wands. Eight of Wands. Nine of Wands. Ten. And then we roll into the courts. This is the only set of court cards that even says what the card is. Um, the page is referred to as the house. The knight is the garden. It has house, garden, sister, and brother. And now we're into the swords. And the ace of swords is pretty clear. It's charming with its like basic artwork, and I like the colors. Two of Swords is still pretty clear, but here we have the Three of Swords, and if I didn't do the work to figure it out, I think I wouldn't really have known this, that it was the Three of Swords. I don't know what I would have thought it was, but not Three of Swords. But The Four of Swords, you know, 
know, and again, I've got to put thought into this because I'm going to, okay, so what I think this is, is I think this is like a needle point. So, yeah, so we have the needles, uh, the four of swords, if it's about kind of like rest and recuperation and maybe, you know, yeah, Emily Dickinson back in the time period, needle point was a form of quiet and rest and recuperation. Five of Swords. I see like little hornets or wasps. Ah, uh, yes, and a nest. See, it's kind of just coming to me. I really didn't see that before. Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. I like the red of the birds. Feathers, a nest, eight of swords, and it's you know put some thought into it. I, I can see the bird is caged and held in constraint. So then my question is, see, I think I would have maybe left the door open, right, so that the bird is caged, but the bird has a way to release itself from its cage. Nine of Swords over the bat, it makes sense. And the Ten of Swords, the, the ending, the flowers, the petals are falling off, it's like an ending, and I'm, I'm good with that. And then so here we have the House of Swords. I had to write page because I didn't, I couldn't quite correlate it. It, does, it doesn't look like it right away. It's not real clear. But beautiful nonetheless. Here's the Knight of Swords, the Garden. I mean, I wrote a Q on there. King of Swords. Okay, now we're in the cups. And it all of the cups are shown by these cupped hands. It's kind of charming that way. So the Two of Cups has a quote on it and two cupped hands. I need to take some time to read these more. Three of Cups. Four of Cups. It's the only one that's sideways, I think. That's sweet, though. Five of Cups. Six of Cups looks like it's a handwritten letter, an older letter. Seven of Cups. Mm, interesting. But are not all facts dreams as soon as we put them behind us? Like Seven of Cups of Illusion. I like that. Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups. of cups. And then the house of cups is the page and it's hard to see but it's actually got an image of like two people in there and it's really nice. The knight of cups, the garden, the sister is the queen, and then the brother is the king. And this is the final suit, uh, the ace of pentacles. And I love, of course, I love monarch butterflies. I have seven monarch butterflies tattooed on my left arm and shoulder, and they have a lot of meaning for me with the um, image of, you know, transformation, and, and I'm a Californian at heart, so monarchs hold a special place in my heart for me. Two of pentacles. Three of pentacles. Four of Pentacles, baggage, kind of like that. <clears throat> Five of Pentacles. I need to put some thought into that. Six of Pentacles. Seven. I almost would have thought maybe that was like wands if I didn't know 
that it's the pinnacles, but I like it. I like the image, but I mean, I can work with it for sure, but I maybe would have thought it might have been wands at first. Eight of pinnacles and mastery of detail and work. That makes sense. Machinery. Nine of pentacles. I need to put some thought into that. Ten of pentacles. Page is the house. And knight is garden. And then here's the queen and um, king, brother and sister of pentacles. And that is the whole deck of Emily Dickinson. So I was just going to go out just briefly because I wanted to, again, I, I think I mentioned that um, I backed this in clear contact paper and I love how it feels. Um, I'm going to shuffle it here really quick. It feels like really flexible and sturdy. And maybe, maybe we'll shuffle them. So look at this flex that, look at this, this is crazy. It's thin, it's not even really cardstock, it's like paper, but since I put the back on it, it just like flexes like crazy. And so I love, sorry about if it's really loud. But I love the flexibility. Yeah. So. So that is the Emily Dickinson tarot. <laughs> oh, I need to do outtakes. I can't shuffle. So that's the Emily Dickinson tarot. And thank you for watching.